All right, people. Welcome back. More of Adam and Y. Today is Friday. That means we're using Supervise. So, you know that card, that stupid card that came off the ban list. Yeah. You know, snatch. Yeah, Supervise could probably take advantage of that. Probably one of the most out of all the decks on Adam and Y, along with Zombie Vice, because of course we already have our own, you know, kind of a equip spell being a Supervise, of course. Deck. Yeah, you know, the card is in the name title for goodness sake. So, one of the cards that can actually be played in the deck now, which might be, you know, just interesting to play, is um, Hidden Armory. And I think that's one of the problems that I think um, uh, Konami just completely forgot about, is the existence of that card, Hidden Armory. You don't know what it does. Uh, you mill the top card of your deck, you get an equip spell from your deck or graveyard. You cannot normal summon or set the turn that you activate this card. That's totally fine. So, literally, I can go, alright, activate Snatch. I mean, yeah, activate Hidden Armory. You know, build a top card in my deck, get Snatch Steel. You know, I can't normal summon or set. That's fine. You know why that's fine? Because I'm just going to take your monster and hit you with it. You know? So, and so literally, because Snatch Steel is an equip spell, uh, it might as well be at four. Because you can run three Hidden Armory. You know? And... It, like I said, it doesn't matter if you cannot normal summon or set. Not really, because if I take your monster, then there you go. There's my normal summon or set. Your monster. So, uh, you know, that's definitely just uh, a problem, you know. And I don't think Konami considered it. I think I think Konami gets too caught up in the meta. So caught up in the meta that they don't consider game states out of the meta. You know? I, I think that's, it. that's the problem right now. Is that they're way too wrapped up in the meta. You know? Like, oh, well, in the meta, destruction is bad. So we can go ahead and put Dark Cult to 2, to 3, and Regeki, and Torrental, and, and bring those cards up, because destruction is bad. But then as soon as we step out of a format where destruction is bad, then, oh, shit, now we're running into a problem, because now everybody's getting wiped, and no one is floating anymore, you know? So it's not, it's not that, you know, Regeki, and Dark Hole and Torrental are bad. Those cards have never been bad. You know, they were on, you know, banned and limited lists for... You know, who knows how long? That mass destruction was very, very hurtful. I mean, damn, just wipe all your whole film to get negged so hard. But because Konami is putting us into this game state of floating, because that's that's literally what they do. And, and and you know what? From a business plan, it's actually pretty smart for Konami to do that. It's pretty smart for Konami to make decks when they float because it increases the longevity of decks. Definitely increases the longevity. You know? You gonna drop the honest, or are we just gonna kamikaze? I don't, I don't. Okay, you know, If you want to drop the honest, drop the honest. If you want to crash, then send yourself to the graveyard as well. I, I don't understand. Are we crashing? Are we crashing? <sighs> if we are okay, okay. You know, all you had to do was just send your shit to the graveyard, and I would have known. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm waiting for honest or something. Lots of back row. Lots of back row. I'm gonna activate this. I drew your bell. All right. Now, it's just the power creep in this game is is, is affecting the ban list and. You know, instead of addressing problems in the game, they're just revolving around the meta. And I get it, you know, the meta is the, you know, the main game state that kind of pays attention to, but, you know, you, sometimes you just gotta step out of it and just and figure out, hmm, is, will this, is this card healthy for the game? You know, why did we hit this card? You know? You know, Regaki, like, really? You know? Dark Hole is... Dark Hole was one of the cards I was sitting on edge. I mean, it was one of the, you know... The, the Trinity, it was part of the Trinity with Heavy Storm and Monster Reborn. You know, the other two got banned while Dark Hole was just sitting there like, yeah, I'm the only one here. And all of a sudden they're like, wait, I'm going to two? Like, what the fuck? Alright, so... The thing is, I can go for anything. The only problem is, if I go for anything, there's a really good chance that he's just gonna go into Trivial or Trihevel or whatever and just spin me back, so... Uh, this is probably a lost duel, and you know why it's probably a lost duel? Because the power creep. Yeah. Normal summon for effect. 
I, I said he floats better than me. Uh, you know, he can, he can build up resources better than me. Uh, he has all these cards to stop any of my plays. So, there's a good chance I'm probably going to lose this duel, but you know what? I'm talking more than I'm paying attention to the duel. The opening hand was actually pretty good. I didn't even mention that. I didn't even mention that. So, that's a thing. Go ahead and go to my. I was thinking you had this all morning. Yeah. That's another thing, too, that, you know, Konami probably didn't even take into consideration at all. Is the fucking uh, number generators on here on, you know, uh, dueling websites. You know, that's also a thing that is, uh, that was never taken into consideration. Because why not? You know, why? You know, these are these are kind of third-party things that, you know, Konami just didn't have to take into consideration. But, you know, a lot of people do play on here. You know, and, you know, the number generator here on, is so damn strong that we're probably going to be seeing Snatch Steel a lot. So, you know, that's definitely, definitely going to suck. You know, because you know, I don't want to see Snatch Steel on the damn time, but will we? Probably. So, you know, that might be a problem, but... That's not none of Konami's concern. And I go through a lot of things. Like this? Oh, that's not Konami's concern. It's not Konami's concern. So, you know. They don't think that probably won't play Snatch. Uh, Snatch Steel will probably be um, uh, Burning Abyss just because they Snatch Steel, you know, the opponent's monster is not a Burning Abyss every time they summon something and die. I mean, you know. I I'm, I play the deck on daily duels and it's pushing it with just playing mathematician. Does mathematician help? Oh yes, he does. But if your opponent doesn't kill a mathematician and he's and he's on that field, it, it hurts. So that might be the only deck that really doesn't you know utilize the strength of mathematician. <sighs> no. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna get power creep in this duel. You know, at this point, I probably lost. Let's see, is that enough damage to end this game? 17 plus 15 plus 12 plus 18 plus 15. Make a cowboy, that's game. That's game. You got it. You got it. That's game. One, one solemn morning. Like I said, this number generator. One solemn morning. Set. Do I think solemn morning should be banned? No. Good set one. You know? I never thought someone was like, oh, you're so fucking broken, it needs to be banned. I never thought the same thing with Super Poly as well. Should Super Poly be at three? Hell no. Should Super Poly be at one? That's fine. Should probably be banned? Nah, I mean, if you want to, you know, that's how I feel about it. But, you know, should, should, should you know, same thing. Should Snatch still be at three? Hell no. Should Snatch still be at one? Hell no. Is Snatch still be banned? Yes. You know, and that, that's another thing. You know, we're, we're in such a predominant MST, you know, heavy format. That apparently Konami was like, hey, we can bring back Snatch Steel because, you know, all you have to do is just MST it. But why is the reason why we're in such an MST heavy format? Whose fault is that? Once again, it's Konami's. Wow. The deck is majority of spells, and I drew no spells. That's the reason why we run Summoner Monks, because I drew, uh, the majority of the deck is spells. The so double Summoner Monk with no spells. That's awesome. Thanks. Of course, Doom Shaman. You know? That's Konami's fault. You know And Vanities and Skill Drain... We're at one where they should be, and maybe you would see a little bit less MSTs. But as long as those cards are at three, we have to run it because we have to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We have to use our MST, and that's the problem. It's the problem. Do we have more cards that need to be MST than we have MSTs? Which means that you got to play, you know, alternate MSTs. You know, some alternate MSTs that people played. One, for example, was of course Morale Type, but that's gone. You know, it's just, it's just too difficult. You know, the, the, the game is getting a little bit too difficult here. If we're doing against Bujins, I'm gonna get a different duel because that's gonna be boring. To tell you the truth. Yeah. Oh, I'm probably gonna summon Yamato and I'm gonna quit. Oop, I accidentally clicked that. Alright. I don't wanna do against Bujins. So, two decks who will take advantage of that double honest thing so far. Maybe that maybe they'll increase their playability. Yeah. Yeah. 
and Stanzi, I was talking to Stanzi about it, and he made a point, you know, when, when it gets to the point where a super conservative uh, duelist like me and a super liberal duelist like Asia and I both agree that on things about this ban list, that's when you know when you fucked up, when you can get two points of the view and, and, and realize that it's dumb. I apologize, I can't, can't get any duels in. I can't. I'm either getting power creeped or just completely crushed by, you know, whatever my opponent has, because he was clearly going to search bottomless. And as soon as I come into that play, my play, I'm going to get bottomless, so. Well, good luck, have fun. I'm using trap tricks. You know trap tricks are fun, right? Like, no, they're not. This hand's not terrible. Besides, no revival. Uh, I could make a, you know, an emerald, but the problem is with making an emerald is, uh, is, uh, then I won't get my last send. That's the problem. So, hopefully I get some revival, because if I don't, I will lose, like usual. You know, it's just dumb. Well. Yeah. It's just all power creep, you know? It's power creep and money. It's all about the money. Like, you know? I mean, I don't mean, you know, I used to predict skill drain out the ass. I used to say skill drain should be hit, skill drain should be hit, skill drain should be at one, skill drain should be at one. And then, you know what? I gave up on saying it. And you know why I gave up on saying it? Because it never happened. It never fucking happened, so I just gave up on saying it. And then I thought, maybe, maybe Kleeputs. Kleeputs are going to be the one. Kleeputs are going to be the one. Well, Konami's going to realize, you know what? Skill Drain should be hit. You know? Looked at the OCG ban list. They didn't hit Skill Drain. They didn't hit anything Kleeput related at all. They love Kleeput. It's obvious. You know? Uh, and I was like, all right. Well, you know, they really love Kleeput over there. You know? But here, here in, here in TCG land, we're going to be different. We're going to, we're going to be different. Regeki is, like, really. Uh, you know, we're going to be different. We're going to, we're going to. We're not going to be dumb like that. We're totally going to, you know, it doesn't even have to be a direct hit to Kleeput. It could be an indirect hit to Kleeput, but we're totally going to get that deck. I could throw the Regeki at her, but I'm okay right now. I'm only worried about him summoning the blue eyes, but, you know. We have to use a couple cards to summon the blue eyes. Is that another Shining Angel? All right. I could, and depending on what this back row is, I could end this duel right now. I could. Uh, fuck it. I'll go for it. No. Doesn't work like that. No. No. Doesn't work like that. Maiden doesn't work like that. You don't get Maiden Effect. Oh my god. Spelled Maiden Oak. Really? What What am I doing? I'm not targeting you for attack, nor am I targeting you by effect. Regeki doesn't target. What? You do not get Maiden Effect. It's as simple as that. Regeki does not target. At all. Where I mean, anywhere under Regeki do you think that it targets? Maiden. I hate the end. I hate the end so much. I it's been like this the last couple of episodes, hasn't it? Get my ass beat, get my ass beat, get my ass beat, do get something someone stupid. Get my ass beat, get do get something stupid. It's literally been the same shit. No, you don't. Oh my god. You don't get the effect of Maiden. Really? Really? I'm done. I'm done. So done. So done. So done. You're bad.
Stop saying fucking fast. Like, it doesn't mean anything. You do not get the fucking effect of Maiden if I fucking regeki that bitch. But, you know what? You're bad anyway, so fuck it. We'll try to get one more duel in. That's it. This is all DNA for you. Try hearts and, no and fucking noobs and scrubs. It's all DNA. You're either gonna dr duel someone who's trying to be a try heart and trying to whoop your ass here on Unrated for. I don't even know the reason why. Or you're gonna do it against someone who's either a noob and will try to constantly argue with you over something stupid, or a scrub who thinks they know what they're doing and is completely ignorant to the game and they are bad, but yet they could be better. You know? So. That's all that you face on DM. And number generation. You know? Like, really. Really. Well, you have no extra deck, so I have no idea what you're fucking using. <sighs> Tunes? I don't know what I want to discard. This is Exodia. Exodia, really? Really? How am I supposed to have fun watching you play with yourself? You're not going to draw the pieces. You're not. And then during the end phase, you're just going to discard your whole entire hand and get nothing done. <sighs> also, you resolve this before you search for your blue eyes, but you're a fucking idiot, so you don't know that. Wow, you're bad. Tired of... Tired... Oh my god. So tired. Tired of dueling bad people. You don't even know how you, you don't even know how to play right. Really? This has to resolve before the egg searches. Like, do you not know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make Exodia. There's a reason why you don't play this fucking card. You're not gonna get Exodia in time. You're not. Then you're gonna, during your phase, you're gonna discard your entire hand and then you're gonna quit like a fucking scrub. Good luck, have fun. Look there. Good luck, have fun watching me play with myself. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. You say. Good luck, have fun, then use Exodia. So, watching you play with yourself is fun? I might as well sit here and watch you masturbate in my fucking face. Because that's literally what you're doing. I said, you're not going to make it in time. You're not. I'm not going to quit because you're not going to get it. I said, if you're going to play Exodia, then hurry it up. I swear to God, this is the end. This is the end. Uh, no. I wanted to duel. I wanted to duel. Just don't be bothered and enjoy you giving it up. You're not, it's not even a deck. You're just literally sitting there and playing with yourself. That's not a fucking deck. Oh my god. Oh my god. I apologize, people. But this is the end for you. I apologize. I, I swear, I apologize. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I do to deserve this. I just don't understand what people are thinking. How can you join Yu-Gi-Oh with sackiness and power creep and ignorance? Like, it's a, you can't. You can't enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't. You can't. Yu-Gi-Oh is just falling apart. Falling apart. It really does suck. You know, when you can make whatever deck you wanted and it could be cool and interesting, now it's just, you know, power creep and sackiness. Power creep and sackiness. 
If you ain't main decking triple vanities, you ain't doing it right. All you can is right now. It really does suck. I miss when Yu-Gi-Oh was fun. <sighs> I'll keep doing it. <sighs> I mean, you guys get a laugh at it anyway. It just makes me sad. Frustrated and sad. Summon Megalo. Summon lead? Okay. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Lead. He actually summoned lead. <sighs> no surprise there. Is it just any sea serpent? Yeah, any sea serpent. And your sea serpent. Yep, yep, yep. That's chill. So no surprise seeing these this deck back. Remember how long this deck was on daily duels? The longest deck on daily duels. Good times, good times. Oops. I hope these two cards are something to stop because if not, you're gonna get your butt kicked. You're gonna run out of resources. Yeah. There's so no way you can stop me anyway. These two cards are set, so even if one of them is the best T, I already know what that card is. Can't. There's a couple reasons why you can't do that. One, you just said it. Two, it only stops inherit summons in which called in which my oasis is not an inherit summon to trigger summon, so can't. You know? Actually none of my summons are inherit summons, so now I know three of your cards that you got right now. So the only thing I don't know about that is probably sheer. So I use my normal summon for effect. Effect. And I'm waiting for this card. If it's a breakthrough skill, then alright. Right, I'm guessing that's okay. Special summon bell. Ah, uh, da, da 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 I'm just gonna end. End phase. Bell effect. Shaman effect. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, this is gone. Uh, bell effect. Man, when the monster leaves the field. Do not try to black horn me. Spell effect. Do not try to black horn me because you can't. You can't black horn any of the bells because they're triggered from the other forms of you bell. There is no inherent you bell. <coughs> the only thing that you can hit me with black horn is my synchro summons. That's it. Used to. Alright. Yep. Nice top deck. Uh, yeah, summon the gun. Gun is gonna send something, get you a controller, right? Yep. Yep, yep. Said the return of Marmels. Marmels weren't bad, but, you know. You didn't even try gun deck too. You just threw that bitch right up to three. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Gun did top a couple times too. I mean, gun. Marvel did cop top a couple times too. Might as well summon it. 
actually, I'm gonna get dark reference because there might be a chance I'll draw dark. It's not set anymore. No, no, it doesn't. You miss. You target my set card, I chain it, it's not set anymore. It, oh my god, Deanne. I love you so much. Not really. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. Please don't make me have to explain inherent summons to that. Please don't make me have to explain inherent summons. Because I'm not in the mood. Because you're not going to get it. And then you're probably going to quit. Thank you. Fucking DN. Oh, well, I wasn't going to draw Dark Monsters. Hoping I would, but I didn't. Done. I'm done. This is this is DM. That's all many times I said. This is DM. No, you cannot Blackhorn the monster summoned from Call of the Haunted. That's only inherent summons. Only inherent summons. Alright? Stuff that doesn't start a chain. Alright? BLS. Synchro summons, you know, C summons, fucking pendulums, fucking JD. There's the, things that don't start a chain that you don't have response to. Not dragon rulers, all right? Not mermels. No, only inherent summons. Like, this guy, he just he just thinks that oh, when a punch monster special summon, black horn, black horn, black horn, black horn can hit everything. That's why everybody plays it because it's so good. Like no, only inherent. But trying to explain inherent summons to people is it wasn't even gonna be worth my time. I knew he was gonna quit. But as soon as I would try to explain why he couldn't do it, he was gonna quit. But he just quit before that. So I'm done. Done that. That that that's you, Gil, in a nutshell. <laughs> So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Did you not? I know, I didn't either. So, there you go. That's what I'm in Y for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. <sighs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm doing justice, you know? If people were just ignorant, if people weren't ignorant to what I'm trying to tell them, they maybe could learn something, you know? I think that's one of the reasons why I'm here on DN, because if I duel someone, and then, you know, I explain to them why it's like this, or I give them the ruling, then they learn, but, you know, if they're too ignorant to learn, and all they want to do is be salty and quit, then, you know what, then you can go on, run along, and continue being ignorant here on the big ignorant land of Dylan Network, but if you want to actually take the time to actually learn what I'm trying to, to explain to you, because that's the one thing that people on here don't understand. I do not need to cheat you to beat you. I don't. Like, if you win, you win, all right? You got it. If I win, then I win. But I don't need to be like, oh, no, you can't do that when you really can, or yes, you, oh, I can do this when I really can't to win. I don't. What do I, what do I, what, that's the thing. I'm on unrated. I'm on unfucking rated what do I benefit from cheating you? Glory? That, is that what I get? Like, I don't understand. I don't win a trophy. I don't win prize money. I don't even win rating. My rating doesn't go up from beating you, so why do I need to cheat you to beat you on unrated? I, I don't know, but they're just so fucking ignorant on here. Yeah, try hearts, noobs, and scrubs. There you go. You know, people ask me, should I play on DN? No. Never play on DN. But that's where all the good people are. No, that's not where all the good people are. All right. I know that the, the whole rating system on DN is more prevalent on here than on, you know, Dev Pro because there's no need to play rated at all. At all. There is no reason. But still, you know, testing proxy stats still. Uh-huh. No. no, there is no reason. Testing Exodia, same, same nigga too. Same fucking nigga. No one's gonna fucking duel with you because no one wants to duel against Exodia. Your Exodia deck was shitty anyway. You know? Hey. You know? Wanna play you get planned up, bro? No. Let the automatic shit do it. Let the system do it. Don't try to figure it out. Let the system do it. Alright, I'm done. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Zombie Vice. Alright, thanks for watching.